Hello, machinists. This time, we will introduce the basics of turning tools and how to install them. Let's select and install the appropriate tools and perform machining with the correct setup. Introduction of tools. Turning tools are divided into two types, for external and internal diameters. These are tools for external turning. These are tools for internal turning. For both external and internal turning, there are tools for general turning, thread cutting, and grooving. This time, we will use a general turning tool introducing the selection process and the method for attaching inserts and tool holders. Types of tools. The tool model number includes information such as shape, size, and compatible inserts. When selecting tools or attaching inserts, make sure to check if the model number is correct. The orientation of the tool. Turning tools come in right-handed and left-handed types. The choice of tool depends on the holder or insert type. Choose the correct tool accordingly. If the insert is on the right side when viewed from the front, it is a right-handed tool. If the insert is on the left side when viewed from the front, it is a left-handed tool. When selecting the holder and tool, ensure that the chip mounting surface and the set screw tightening surface are aligned. This combination ensures that the chip height matches the workpiece center. If the combination is incorrect, the chip and workpiece centers may be significantly misaligned, preventing proper machining. Be careful to avoid this. The size of the tool. External turning tools come in different sizes. For example, 25 square tools or 20 square tools. It is important to choose the size that fits your holder. Select the tool size to match the holder's mounting surface. Types and selection of inserts. The insert model number includes information such as shape, size, and material type. There are inserts suitable for specific materials. When selecting, check the catalog or the insert box. Combination of tools and inserts. You can verify the correct combination of tool holders and inserts by checking the model number. Select the model to ensure the shape and size are compatible. C indicates the insert shape, N indicates the relief angle, and 12 indicates the insert size. If the tool and insert sizes do not match, issues such as incorrect cutting height may prevent proper machining. Always confirm the compatibility of the tool and insert. Ensure the combination is correct. Mounting inserts to the turning tool. Now, let's attach the insert to the turning tool. Use compressed air to remove chips and debris. When using compressed air, chips may scatter. Always wear safety glasses. Insert the chip into the seat and press it firmly into the corner. Tighten it with the appropriate wrench. Mounting the external turning tool. First, clean the mounting surface with a cloth to remove chips and debris. Next, loosen the holder's set screw and adjust the overhang length, then set the tool. Temporarily tighten the set screw so the tool does not fall. After confirming the overhang length and other settings, fully tighten the screw. Check if the tool is securely attached. If the external turning tool overhang is too long, it may interfere with the slide cover or cause vibration during machining. Set the overhang length to the minimum necessary. Additionally, if the gap in the cover with the turret number is too narrow, chips may accumulate. Adjust the gap to about 10 millimeters to prevent this. If the tool is too long, consider cutting it to the appropriate length. Adjust the coolant nozzle to point toward the insert tip. This ensures proper coolant flow to the cutting area. Adjust the coolant nozzle to align with the insert tip. Once adjusted, secure the nozzle to prevent movement and tighten the locking screw firmly. Some tools allow coolant to flow directly from the tool. Using dedicated holders or piping components can efficiently direct coolant to the insert tip. This improves machining efficiency. Mounting the internal turning tool and the hole bushing. 
Now, let's install the internal turning tool and the hole bushing. Insert the internal turning tool into the hole bushing. Adjust the overhang length. The overhang length of the internal turning tool should be longer than the machining depth. If the overhang length is too long, the machining surface is more likely to vibrate. As with external turning tools, keep the overhang length to the minimum necessary. Tighten the hole bushing screw. Ensure the tool surface and set screw are perpendicular. Adjust by rotating the tool while tightening. Secure it firmly. After temporary tightening, fully tighten the screw. Mounting the internal turning tool. First, clean the mounting surface with a cloth to remove chips and debris. Next, insert the internal turning tool with the hole bushing into the holder. Tighten the set screw on the flat side of the tool. Ensure the tool surface and set screw are perpendicular while rotating the tool to tighten. Once the set screw is in contact, temporarily tighten the remaining screws. After temporary tightening all screws, fully tighten the screws on the flat side. Then, lightly tighten the screws on the opposite side. Next, adjust the coolant nozzle to point toward the insert tip. Once adjusted, secure the nozzle to prevent movement and tighten the locking screw firmly. This concludes the basic explanation of turning tools and their installation methods. Proper setup is important for achieving high precision machining. If you found this content helpful, please subscribe our channel. See you machinists!